Okay, so I got the new card in, uh, HT7970 on eBay yesterday. I tried hooking it up, um, and it recognized it, but for some reason when I'm running Windows, it screws with the other two RX560s. It'll recognize all three of them, but I don't know. It's given some kind of error now in nice hash minor. I fooled with it for a while last night, and... I just got done messing with it. I'll show you the card real quick. It kind of came in with like black electrical tape on it. I mean it runs. It was mining at like 80 cents at one point. But I'll show it to you real quick. It looks like garbage. Alright, so there's the card. Obviously the chains have been, uh, the fans have been changed. You can see the black electrical tape. I'm guessing those for the uh, fan wires. It just looks rough. I don't know if you can see it, but on the face of it up here, like right there where my finger's at, looks like a little little burnt. It kind of smelt a little burnt when I got it. That's the back of it. But I'm going to put it back on eBay. I mean, it runs, it works. Like I said, it was mining at one point, but it's not playing nice with my other cards. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Hopefully I can get my money back on it, or at least most of it. Um, so right now, as you can see on the computer, I'm back on um, SMOS. And they're up and running. The little BOD MIOS I did for those uh, RX 560s right here only bumped my hash rate up about 10, 12 on here for uh, Zcash and back mining Zcash again so let's jump into the computer real quick and I'll show you on Simple Miner what it's doing alright guys, see you in a bit uh, hey Shane here guys in the computer now um, so like I said, the, the rig crashed with uh, the new card in it. It didn't go really well. The motherboard crashed. Windows crashed. It was a mess. So like I said, I finally got it back with the two cards. RX 560s. I'm going to leave it like that going forward. And just add you know the RX 500 series cards to that. I'm not going to fool with the HDs anymore. I'm going to put that card back on eBay. It does work. And to sell it and get my money back, hopefully at least majority of it. Um, another issue I have is simple mining. It's working, but it says it's offline. It did that last time. You know, it, it kind of sucks. I can't do any editing to it. I can't change the um, car or the uh, coins I'm mining uh, remotely when it's offline like this. But I do know it's mining because when I go in a mining pool hub, it's mining Zcash. And it's got some on the exchange now, on the auto exchange wallet. Uh, whereas before, I checked it like a couple hours ago, there was nothing on the exchange. So that's telling me that it is mining. It's just not showing up on simplemining.net. So today, well, I guess since... About 11 last night, I've already converted to 10 Verge coins. I have still some in the exchange and in the auto wallet, so it's doing all right. It's 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 moving along. Um, unfortunately, I can't do the dollar per day averages like I was doing before, but I can figure it out. I mean, I can go over to let me see. I can go over to Zcash right here. And then we click. All right, and then I can go over to dashboard. And if I scroll down, I can figure it out this way. This is where I was mining before. 0 0.31, I can get the cut average, you know, the cost of that in Zcash and convert that to US dollars and that'll tell me in a 24-hour period how much I've mined. I mean, I can do that. I probably will going forward. But this is what I've mined so far since I got it back on uh, SMOS. All right, so also I wanted to update you guys on Hashflare. Um, 
like I said in my last video, I'm not uh, not reinvesting at the moment. And I'm going to show you why. I think I got, I think it's 0 0.00313 Bitcoin in the balance. I think that's like right around $30 or something like that. But let's go over to the history and I'm going to show you why I'm not reinvesting right now. The fees are outrageous, okay? So, for example, scroll down a little more, my bad. All right. So you have SHA-256, that's, that's the Bitcoin mining. So let me pull up the calculator. All right. So we have SHA-256 maintenance, which is 0 0.00021065, divided by what I got paid out, you know, today, which you see right here, SHA-256 payout, which is... 0 0.0004686 Look at that 0.449 that's 45% basically in fees guys and if you don't believe me let me go back so you can you can see it right here let me let me scroll back let me scroll back like 3 pages deep if it'll let me all right, here we are, three pages deep. So let's take, for example, on the 9th, February 9th. Let's do that. Was that five days ago? 0 0.00028556 divided by the payout I got on that day, which is 0 0.00045. Six six three. Fifty percent on that day, guy. That's the biggest one I've seen. Okay, so it's not profitable, or it's not wise, at least in my opinion, right now, to reinvest in um, SHA-256, which is why I'm not doing it. So I'm just letting it sit here and build and build and build. Let me figure out how much exactly is sitting in there right now. Because if you look down here real quick, it tells you, it gives you an estimate, right? I'm making $4.34 a day. Well, not really. I mean, you all just saw the fees that were just pulled out. So that's really maybe a little over $2 a day I'm making, okay? The fees are, are outrageous. So let me head over to Google. Control B, BTC to USD. So right now I got almost $29 sitting in my Hashflare account. And that's probably about seven, eight days worth now. That's probably about two weeks worth just sitting in there. Good news is, if you go over to CoinMarketCap, the price of Bitcoin has been slowly, it's been, it has been steady and stagnant for a while. I mean, five, six days has been hovering anywhere from eight to 8,500. And now it looks like it's finally starting to break out. That's the first time I've seen it above 9,000 in a while. So I'm kind of hoping that we're finally in a bit of a breakout pattern, which would be nice. I'm sure everyone would, uh, would agree with that. So anyways, guys, uh, I don't want to keep this video going on too long. That's a little bit of an update on my Hashflare account, what it's doing, what I'm doing with it, um, and my mining rig, and what it's doing. Um, I'm going to be looking, I don't think I'm going to buy any more used cards off eBay. I mean, that card I got in, I, as you saw earlier, just looked like garbage. I'm not going to fool with that anymore. I'm just going to wait. Card prices are, are starting to come down. Card availability is starting to uh, become more prevalent. So I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to hold out right now. I'm going to try and sell this card. Hopefully get at least a hundred bucks for it. And I think I'm going to look into try and find a RX 570 is what I want next. Throw that in the rig. 
and just slowly build that rig up. I'm not going to go crazy. But it's kind of a shame that the uh, Windows isn't recognizing those 560 cars. Well, it's recognizing the cars, but the NiceHash Miner software is not recognizing the cars for some reason. So I really don't have time to figure that out right now. Like I guess if you guys have known in other videos, I coach soccer, my boys play soccer. I don't have a bunch of time to do that. I got a tournament this weekend. So that's unfortunately gonna have to be put on the back burner. So anyways, I guess that's it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video and hit the bell icon on the bottom right so you'll be notified when my next video comes out, which I usually have one every day, every other day. Um, okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, fellas. Ladies, bye.